We are indebted and delighted that you all have decided to participate in this workshop to acquire skills from the nation's leading expert in the area of laparoscopic surgery. Let us introduce you to the participants for today. This is the era of laparoscopic and robotic surgery. A recent increase in the number of reports, retrospective analysis, randomized trials and multicentric trials have provided a significant data to support the role of laparoscopy in colorectal cancer surgery. Hence, we are here today to acquire skills in some of the laparoscopic techniques from the leading surgeons in this field. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce our chief guest, our master trainer, Professor Mumtaz Meher. He is among the pioneers of laparoscopic surgery in Pakistan. He specialized in bariatric and metabolic surgery and is currently the president of Pakistan Society for Bariatric and Metabolic Surgery. Throughout his career, he has been involved in training surgeons from across Pakistan in minimally invasive surgery. Please give a warm welcome to Professor Mumtaz Meher. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much. It's always nice to come back to <coughs> Civil Hospital Karachi. <coughs> Where I started my surgical career a long, long time ago. It's always nice to come and meet people that I've known over the years. What is heartening is to see that despite the two years of loss of time with COVID, we are back into activities. And this is what these institutions are all about, to train people. And what I feel is, if I see some junior come up to a certain level of expertise and something goes wrong, I don't blame him. I feel itna hi sikhaya, usse zyada nahi sikhaya. And that is happening a lot now, that if the teaching and training suffers, the product we create and send into the market or for, for, the, for the society in general, is that quality is going down. And it is to people like Amjad Siraj and Sajda that they're doing excellent work and people are working under them and learning. And these are opportunities that provide us uh, the experience that they bring into a workshop, into, into these uh, activities, and especially with the end trainers available. <clears throat> I can't imagine a surgeon who operates and not able to suture. The same applies to laparoscopic surgery. If you're going to operate, sooner or later you will need or the occasion will arrive for you to put a stitch in or to tie a knot. And this can be learned on the endo trainer. The endo trainers are available, but something is missing. I don't see youngsters practicing on them. And this is science now. It has been found out that if you spend 20 hours practicing, you actually become very good. And when the time arises, when there's an emergency or a need for do this in, on, a, operate, on a patient, that is not the time to learn. You should have known it earlier. You should know the principle. You should know how to execute a maneuver. And laparoscopy is a little different from open surgery is that there are rules to go by. Where you place your trocars, what angle do you place your trocars, what distance you place the trocars from the object that you're going to suture on. These are all science and established principles that need to be learned. It can't just happen. Given the wrong set of circumstances, even experts struggle. An expert or a master will be able to execute a, 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 a maneuver, but find it difficult because the trocar was not placed right or the angle was not right. These are two things that you need to understand. Third thing that you have to have is you have to have the tools to do these things. When I started laparoscopic surgery, when the world started laparoscopic surgery, there was no needle holder and people struggled. And the laparoscopic needle holder was invented quite later, a few years later. And then the science developed. Now the science is there. We have the endo trainers. We have the teachers to train. You just need to go look for the trainers. If you go up to anybody who is a teacher and ask him or her to show you how to do something, I don't think they'll say no. In every operating theater, I see that the juniors are sitting outside where a lot of good work is being carried out on the inside. If you want to become a surgeon, you have to have the drive in you, the passion in you, the motivation in you. 
because that is where your profession is, that is where you're going to make your livelihood. So instead of saying that you're going to become good surgeons, the fact remains that you have to make a living, you have to earn a living. And what is difficult is, when you become a FCPS, you pass your training period, where are you going to learn? That is the time to learn. And how do you go into the market as a general surgeon, like every other? How do people come to you and submit to your surgery if you don't have the skill set or you don't have developed a name? So this is a time to learn and keep practicing. You are, you are actually uh, competing with your own self. You have to be better than what you were last week or the last month or the last year. And that only comes through practice. Over here I see there's a, lot, a good faculty that they have gathered. They are experienced. They can teach you. I wonder, when I'm called to come here, I wonder what is my need to be here? What can I offer? These people are just as good as I am. Whenever something is happening and there's a new learning period, at, at the time of learning, a junior and senior both stay students. They learn together. So do not be shy of learning from anybody, wherever the learning comes from. Do not be shy. Learn it and, and, and show respect and gratitude for the person who has taught you or who has arranged all this. Amjad has done a good, good job and uh, I'm sure if there's anything I can contribute to being here, I'd be willing to do it. But the faculty is very good. They, they are good teachers. They are experienced. They've, they've learnt it all. Practice and then once this is over, go to your house, to your home, to the ward and use the endo trainer and time yourself, clock yourself, learn the maneuvers that need to be learned. And I'm sure when the time arises and you need to suture, you'll be available to do it. You'll be readily doing it and there will be a sense of accomplishment that you've done something. I wish you all well. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, I, it will give me great pleasure to call Professor, Mumta, uh, Professor Amjad Siraj Mehman to come up on stage and present to Professor Mumtaz Meher with the Shield of Honor.